السلام عليكم guys I am Anwar Lashir and this is my channel Become Engineer Academy uh, as I promised you in the previous video I, in this video I will talk about widgets so I will not talk about them deeply but to just have uh, an idea about them I will explain some initial concepts that will help you getting started. In this video we will learn what is a widget and how to build it and how to compose widgets together. Widget is an object that describes a part of the user interface. For example, the text here in your app is a widget this text you have pushed the button this many times is a widget here the number 18 is a widget so the button here is a widget I wish that the idea is clear to you so everything shown on the screen is a widget so let's talk about our code from the beginning we have here import package flutter material that so we need always to import packages to work with because here we are working working with material app so we need to import material dot that our here our main method uh, it has just run up and in parameters we have a class my app here where we defined our my app class that extends from a stateless widget so uh, some words I, I am seeing if you are uh, a very very beginner in programming I think you will have very very uh, important problems uh, in this course following our course so you need to sh talk to watch my video on that but uh, sorry he is, it is in Arabic I will inshallah make some uh, videos in that in English if I have time to so here my app is a widget that is defined in as I said my class my app class and my app class extends from stateless widget so widgets widgets we have two type of them stateless and stateful I will explain that uh, in the next videos every class extends from stateless widgets need to implement a method called build as you see here here we have an override uh, we always as programmers know what is overriding so override it's always for the super class I tell that I override the super class which is here the stateless widget because my app extends it inherit inherit from the stateless widget class what makes the wi state stateless widget class the super class for my app as uh, his part so what is next The build method describes the part of the user interface which is represented by this widget. This widget returns a material app. This material app have a title, Flutter demo, and a team, team data. And primary swatch, which is the color. I will change it to blue 
which is by default material up widget it's an app that use material design which is a design system for building UIs material up is the second widget that we've talked about so far material up is a widget that takes a number of properties As I have already said, the properties that have material up is title, term, and primary swatch. The title is the name of the application. The theme defines a theme data object and the primary swatch primary defines the primary color used in our app. Uh, here is the deep range but I will change it to blue. We will just make a hot reload which is very fast then restart uh, hot restart. Finally we have a home here which is the main widget that is displayed by our material app so which is this part that have in our app as a title I will change it to flutter demo home app for example I will talk about another widget which is called scaffold which is here I have already talked about the material app which defines a home property into this property we pass a widget called my home page as we have already seen so my home page extends from stateful widget here my home page we will say that extends from a state my home page or a stateful widget but the first as you say my home page extends from a stateful as you say stateful not stateless but the first class is extending from a stateless widget so I will explain the difference between them in, uh, in the next videos inshallah before we talk about my app class also has a build method stateful widget has also a build method as a sta the stateless widget which is returning a material up so we can use lot of properties with scaffold as we will see here for example here we have an app bar a title a nap bar sorry a body which is the center and a floating action button which is this the body here is it and this is the floating action button uh, because I will show you the code inside the floating action button on press so 
I tell this button when I press you the tooltip it's uh, like an a title for it I will uh, so to her increment this I didn't know why I named it her but it's button button her it's feminine so it uh, calls the increment counter method the increment counter method where is it where is it here it is here we we defined the increment counter method which is which returns counter plus equal to I will I will stop this video here I think and we will talk about other things in the next video I think I will uh, explain the difference between stateful and stateless widgets so until then I hope that you will be okay see you guys